Hey, what's going on, everybody? Blaze is here, coming at you with another Naruto Shinobi Collection event video. All right, this time we'll be playing this um, mission right here again. It's finally back because PvP is coming around the corner again. And uh, play this mission, get 10 stones. Ugh, excuse me, that's burped a little bit. I hope you guys didn't hear that. That should have been gross. But um, this mission's back, and you guys get have an opportunity to get some stones, some gear, some training materials, all that good stuff. Did I say gear? I didn't mean gear. I meant training materials. My bad. You guys aren't getting any fucking gear from this event. Uh, <laughs> and you get an opportunity to get some rewards right here, too. Some point boosters, some ramen, some nendo tickets, yada, yada, yada. You guys know what we really care about is the stones. Especially since I need, what was it, I got 90 right now. And I need to get 10 to get to 100. That'd be perfect. So when the next hype banner come back around, free, free two multis. What's wrong with me? I can't talk right now. I don't know why. But, um... Uh, Let's throw it here and uh, throw on any team right here because the top three is what we need to worry about. Now, I may not play all of it depending on how fast I run through it, but um, I don't know. Let's just let's run through it and talk. Let's run through it and talk. Now, uh, oh, my gosh, these goddamn anthem long ass loading screens. Jesus Christ. Oh, God, I thought, I thought they said they fixed the servers. Well, I guess they did. It is moving slightly faster now. Because um, yesterday it was terrible. You couldn't even log into the game. The servers were so bad. They said they fixed the problem. But um, I don't know, man. They really need to fix the downloading screen. I'm tired of this fucking shit. It's really annoying. I kind of just want to jump into a mission. But, you know, whatever. I guess we can't do that anymore. Now, uh, what was I about to say? I had a brain freeze. I can't remember what the fuck I was about to say. But uh, I was kind of trying to speculate what the next new hype unit would be. I'm trying to think of what's a unit that would be good that people want to pull on. I want to pull up the birthdays because I don't have the birthdays in front of me. What's the birthdays that's in March? I can't think of it. Sakura's birthday's in March, isn't it? Yeah, I think Sakura's birthday's in March. So Sakura will probably be the next big birthday unit. Okay. Okay, so Sakura will be the next birthday unit, logically speaking. I think her birthday is... We can actually check after this. We can check. I'll just pull up a Sakura card. We can actually see when her birthday is. I think think it is the 15th of march i'm not 100 percent sure what the exact date of that is but we're gonna check it because i think sakura is the next big birthday unit so mm, i want to i hope we get a unit that um she does a shit ton of damage she can heal i hope she's like a really really good support and she can kind of do crit damage because i see they're kind of making basic attack more uh, relevant again and uh shout out in the comment section because i pointed that out too they're starting to make crits and basic attacks more uh, relevant again so let's pull up a sakura unit real quick and i need to level up that Minato and kushina i really wish they would have gave us um some nindo tickets and stuff to max them out completely but you know whatever now sakura's birthday is the 28th okay yeah so sakura's birthday is coming up at the end of march okay so sakura's the next big birthday unit that makes sense okay so I feel like there's another birthday in March, but I can't think of whose it is. No, Neji's is fucking far the fuck away. No, well, maybe it is just Sakura then. I can't think. What about Gara? No, his in January. His shit been passed. What about Tsunade? Tsunade, when your birthday? You sitting in August. You old bitch, and you 51. Fuck you. What about you, Kurt? When your birthday? Okay, well, look. Sakura's birthday is the only one that's in motherfucking... Um, brain Freeze March. So... I'm thinking to speculate that she's the next new big birthday unit, so we're gonna go ahead and go off of that. Now, I'm, like I said before, I was hoping she could do a, like a shit ton of basic attack and she could kind of heal real good because she's a really good healer. And if they don't decide to go that route and they decide to do something else entirely, oh god, he got two of those stupid ass Minotos. That's gonna be annoying. But um, yeah, I hope that she um just do, either does like really heavy um basic attack damage because that'd be great in PvP, especially going up against people who still like to use that damn kaguya who's a mule for three turns it is really frustrating to run into people who use that kaguya not because she's hard to beat but because she's more annoying you guys get what i mean it's not like you struggle to beat her she just she's just so annoying that it, it kind of just feel like you're wasting your time sitting there fighting her for like 45 turns as opposed to if you don't have like God Slayer Modder or something like you just have like a basic team that can take out kaguya it's kind of annoying having to kill a killer like constantly hit her over time it is really annoying so i really hope that um she can be a basic attacking and then we can kind of just kind of crit kaguya to death and be done with it because there's not a lot of units that have um defense or anything against um 
basic attacks. They only have Dave's basic defense against uh, skill damage. So I was hoping that we can get a basic attack Sakura. That way we can kind of do something different. The meta could kind of switch towards that more. Now I don't know um, how many units they will uh, think about kind of pushing towards that meta because there's a lot of units that really don't really you know use basic attacks. They kind of just nuke everybody. You know what I mean? You know, it wouldn't be a Naruto or Sasuke car without them whipping out a Susano or, or a fireball or something nuking every damn body. And I should have hit this damn Madara. I don't know why I hit the Sasuke. That was dumb of me. Let me correct my mistake now. Wow, is my Itachi faster than his Madara? Oh, well, Madara's dead now. I don't give a shit, so I can throw this on auto. I'm going to just try to auto the rest of this then. Because I see the Itachi doesn't really need help. He just kind of just kills everybody. Itachi the new auto king? probably now um i don't know what i would want to want for the meta to kind of switch to because i can't i can't see every unit doing basic attack crit damage and stuff like that because not everybody does like basic attacks everybody just prefers to nuke you know drop planetary devastations raw sanctuary can the works so i can't expect every unit to do it but i could expect some of them but like i can see naruto doing it especially since he has that um fraught kumite I could see him pulling off some basic crit damage and um, having it do a lot of damage. Maybe Sasuke could do it off too. He can do like um, he could take his like Susano arm, like take like the rib cage and form the arm and shit and kind of punch you with it. I could see that being like um a cool little um move for um doing some basic attack damage. That would be kind of cool. Um, I can like I said, I can't really think of too many other ones. Like Madara, I don't know what I mean. Madara would have to do the same thing Sasuke would do, right? And he just had to take like a big ass Susano blade and kind of smack you with it, and that and I guess that would count as melee damage. But then again, it was kind of like all the characters are just repeats of each other. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys want the meta to kind of switch towards. Basic attacks stay the same, same stay. Oh, I can't talk. Stay the same way it is. Switch over to something else entirely, or what? Now, um, what else? Let's get into another subject I want to talk about. This new game mode. Oh my gosh, this new game mode pissed me off, man. It's not that it's bad. It's just that it's nothing new. It's not interesting. I play it and I can get high in it. You know what I mean? I I can get pretty good. It's just um, it's nothing really new. It's kind of like PvP. It's kind of like how the old PvP was, where you played three rounds and then you fought people for three turns to get like one win. So it's kind of like Eh, I really don't care enough about it like I honestly to be totally honest with you guys I really don't even play it like that and when I do play it I honestly only use my good teams for the two fights and then the last one I don't care because it's kind of if you win after you win two times in a row it um it really doesn't matter if you lose the last one because you still won two so you still kind of win technically you just don't get like the maximum rewards you could get but since I don't really care about the mode like that I really don't doesn't bother me that much so I don't know this game this new game mode really is even that fun to me honestly I don't like it like that it's really not oh my gosh here we go this damn Kaguya see this is exactly what I was just talking about this damn Kaguya Ugh. why stop oh my fucking gosh you're so annoying who thought this was a good idea to make her immune for three turns it needs to be three something else turns it doesn't need to be oh my gosh and it's immune. She's immune for three of her turns. That's the fucked up part. Oh, her second skill can get past. Uh, oh, see. Oh, maybe we're doing damage now. Can I, can I hit her? Oh, I still can't fucking hit her. Because she's still immune for three of her turns. Okay, that's the second one. And she's doing more damage than Itachi is healing. Yes, kill this stupid bitch. God damn it. Oh my gosh. What the fuck? It, Ah, it's this lady, this lady right here, man. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank God we're doing damage now. Whew. Oh my fucking fuck. Okay. Okay. Okay, Kaguya. Okay, Kaguya, you are pissed. See, this is what I'm talking about. They need to do something about this in PvP. This is oh, just annoying. It's not even fun. It's just strictly annoying. Like, Jesus Christ. And can she attack already? This is irritating. I'm tired of having to sit here all day and wait for this motherfucker to finally get her shit off. 
Thank you. Oh my gosh. This is the shit I'll be talking about. <laughs> having to deal with that is extremely annoying. I'm tired of having to deal with it. it it's retarded. I just, they, they should take certain abilities off of PvP because they would annoy the shit out of people. It's really annoying having to get through because I don't know that he was going to use that Kaguya because it doesn't tell you what team you're going to use or end up fighting. So it's kind of like, what do you do? And I don't want to quit out of it because it's like, it's easy. It's just, ugh, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, that now that that long ass diatribe is over and I got sidetracked because of the stupid Kaguya. Let, let me know in the comment section below what you guys will want the meta to kind of switch to. I don't know what I really want to go towards with this damn meta switching, but let me know in the comment section below what you guys will come up with. Tell me what you guys want for the new meta. I do know that this new game mode needs to go. I'd rather have the um old road mode back. Like they had like raids where you could fight the nine-tailed fox and shit. I'd rather them bring that back. Cause they made that kind of had like the same kind of feel to it. But it was kind of like we were doing boss battles. So it was more interesting. It was more fun to do. Playing just the three modes where you just pretty much do PvP and you get the rewards. That's kind of boring. I'd rather them bring back like the raids. That shit was fun. And you kind of have the whole um, server or whole community of Shinobi Collection players kind of do a certain amount of damage to the enemy. That was more fun to me than this stupid ass game mode. I really don't like it like that. Now, uh, I think that's going to be it for this one. Depending, I might end the video right here now, depending on whether or not I run into the um, top three players. Oh, uh, nope, I haven't ran into them yet. So they're probably going to be either after this one or after this one. But I don't want this video to be too damn long because, you know, people got short attention spans. Then I can't have them stay here for too damn long. So uh, that's going to be it for this video right here. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that bullshit. And tell me what you guys want to see the um, game do with metas in the uh, comment section below. This has been your boy Blazehood. Peace out.